Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this three strand elastic bracelet using chain links. Let's get started. The materials you'll be needing to make the elastic bracelet with chain connectors are beads of your choice, some chain links. I'm using the smaller ones, but if you're using the bigger ones, you could put your stretch cord with your beads through each one of them but since I have the smaller one I'm going to do two in between each like bead and stretch cord I put in the little chain links so I'm put one there and then two and then put another one you also be needing some E6000 glue a pair of scissors some toothpicks some clear stretch cord, I'm using this 0.8 millimeter, and a bead stopper. So let's get started. So first you're going to cut your clear stretch cord, the size of your wrist, and a few more inches for the knots. So mine, I have already cut it about 14 inches. So first I'm going to take my first beads and put it in the stretch cord until we get up to the first chain link and I'm just going to put my bead stopper at the end so none of the beads will fall out now I have Put in all the beads on my stretch cord that led up to my chain link. Now I'm going to put the first one or the bottom of my chain link on the stretch cord. So it mainly end up dangling down. And now you're just going to put on the rest of your beads that lead to your second chain link. Now I finished putting in all of my beads that led up to the second chain link. And now I'm just going to leave it without a knot in case I need to go back and fix the pattern. And it's just more easier to put the glue to all of the knots at the end so they're all dry at the same time. So now we're going to go on to the second row and I'm going to be showing you how to put the link, the chain link, to the second row, but still attach to the first one. So let's get started. Now we're going to do the same thing with our stretch cord. Cut it the size of your wrist and a few more inches to the knots. And we're going to add in beads that add up to the first chain link. So I'm going to do that. So now I put all my beads that lead up to the first link. Now you're going to take your first row that you just did, take the chain link, and for me, since it's little, I'm going to skip two and then add in my other one. So now, what you're going to do it just continue adding your beads to the second link. So now we're up to our second chain link. And we're going to do the same. So for me, I'm going to skip one. And put it to the second one. So now, you're going to do it with your third row. Now we are going to knot these elastic stretch cords together. So first you're going to take your first row and take the other side of the other first row. And now we're just going to tie that together. So first you're going to do a regular tie. 
Then you're going to do a surgeon's knot, which is mainly a regular one, but you go under twice. So this is once. And then you do it another time. And now you're going to do that to all of your rolls. So now that I did all my knots, we are going to glue them and we're going to use our two fix and our E6000 glue to secure all the knots. So I'm just using a paper towel to project the surface so glue will get on whatever you're working on. And you'll also be needing a toothpick and your E6000 glue. So now you're going to take a little bit of your E6000 glue and we're just going to apply it on the knot like that and just squeeze it together and you're just going to do that to all of your knots. So now you're just going to let them dry and now once they're dried, you can cut the excess of the stretch cord off. Make sure not to cut the knot, just to cut the stretch cord that's left. There you go. And you're just going to cut the rest of the stretch cord that you have here. And there you have your bracelet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you like this video. And subscribe for more videos like this. Also comment any suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.